Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. So recently I decided to reorganize my bookshelves and I decided to film the process for you. I've tried filming bookshelf reorganization videos before but I've always lost the footage or something has gotten in my way where I haven't been able to actually upload it and edit it and everything but I finally was able to get this one up for you guys. I also love watching these types of videos. They're like my favorite videos to watch. I think they're so relaxing and just so cool to see the transformation of people's bookshelves. So I thought I would film this because I wanted to change mine up. So yeah, I kind of talk through my thought process or my lack of thought process throughout this whole video. So I will just let you guys get into the bookshelf reorganization. Okay, so I don't have much of a plan for what I'm going to do with my bookshelves. I have a couple ideas. I'm definitely going to move my Harry Potter shelf because this is a really big shelf. It kind of like has this little area that comes out. I feel like I'm not utilizing this big shelf the best way possible because there is like quite a bit of space right there. I also don't really want this series to be highlighted on my channel because I feel like it's very obvious in the background of my videos. I don't want this author who I do not support being such a big statement in the background of my videos. So those are moving. I also want to have a section for my TBR because I have some books down there that are part of my TBR but the rest are kind of just thrown in randomly in my shelf and I kind of forget what books I have that I haven't read yet so I want to have a section for my TBR. Other than that I don't really have much of a plan. So yeah I think the first step is to take everything off the shelves or most of everything off the shelves and I'm kind of already dreading this but you know what? It's fine. <laughs> Okay, so what I did is I kept the shelf the same, so all my Cassandra Clare books. I feel like I'm going to put them on the shelf again, so I just left them. I think this is kind of the best place for them anyway. And then I just kind of have my bookmarks and stuff there. I had my yearbooks from middle school and high school down there, and I think what I'm going to do is move those books there, because they're kind of big. I also, like, does someone want to, like, why do I still have this? Still love them, but you know what, like, why did, why? Why? <laughs> This is cute though. So I think I'm gonna move those there. I have a bunch of like CDs right here too. I might end up moving those at some point, but I think right now it's fine. I might think about it while I do the bookshelf reorganization and see if I wanna move those eventually. But for right now, I think that those are fine. But yeah, all of it is empty. So I probably should dust them and then we can start the organization. So this is kind of where we're at right now. What I did is I put my Harry Potter books over here. What I might do is push this back and then put my Harry Potter like pop figures right here. But right now I just have it pulled forward and also that book fitting perfectly in there. So pleasing. Also pleasing that my TBR fits with this like message board thing and then all my TBR. That's also pleasing. But that's where the good luck ran out. <laughs> so I wanted to use this big shelf better. Um, and I have a lot of Marissa Meyer books. I have all of her books plus multiple 
duplicates of some. So I thought it would make sense to have this big shelf have some of her books on it. And then I was thinking, oh, there's some space. Let me put another series that I love. But I have some, um, some space. <laughs> and Marissa Meyer is coming out with another book in November, so it'll fit when the time comes. But right now it just looks stupid. So I don't know what I'm doing there. And then also my rainbow shelf, I'm pretty happy with it. I don't know. I'm not really good at the whole rainbow shelf thing, so let's just hope it looks okay. But I have this empty space, so either I'm going to turn a book like forward like this and have it displayed somewhere on the rainbow shelf, but I also feel like that might ruin it. But I also was just thinking I might just put something here, either like a plant or a trinket or something, just to kind of fill up that space. That's kind of where we're at right now. I'm not quite sure where to go from here because this is kind of where my plan ended. <laughs> and this isn't working. This was a part of the plan and it didn't work, so I don't know what to do. Now I just have all of these books to go through, and I have one classic that I've read and I don't know where to put it, but you know what? It's fine. I'm gonna figure it out. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> Okay, not gonna lie, feeling a bit stuck here. <laughs> I definitely like having Leigh Bardugo's books like this, so I'm gonna keep that. I'm just not sure what to do with the rest. I, I don't know, I sort of have it organized by genre, but then I have like these, which are like murder, mystery, historical books. And then this is what I have going on over here. I have more fantasy, a classic, it's really random, sci-fi, dystopian, sci-fi, sci-fi, I guess. Um, I don't know what to put these as. <laughs> Fantasy, 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 sort of. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I also put Twilight and the Matched trilogy over here because I figured this could just be like a nostalgia shelf, but I don't know what else to put there, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take a break and just kind of like think about it for a little bit. Maybe like kind of plan it out, but then I'll continue to film what I end up doing. Um, but yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, so I think I'm gonna just take a break. <laughs> okay, hello. Day two of bookshelf reorganization. So this was my TBR shelf that I decided to make, um, but the thing is, I bought more books. <laughs> so I think I'm going to move this thing and put it somewhere else on my shelf and put more books on this shelf and just kind of have this as my TBR shelf and try not to um, extend from this shelf and keep my TBR contained to just this. I'm going to try and figure out a place to put this and yeah, I'm just going to get right back into it. I'm going to try and finish this today. Um, because I just want it to be done now. <laughs> Thank you. 
top two shelves, I kind of have just books that I didn't really know where to put them and or I didn't really need them on like display in the background of my videos. So I also put my Nook up here, um, some bookmarks, my Piglet Pop figure I moved up there, and then some more bookmarks. And then I have my copy of Pride and Prejudice, which I would like to have displayed, but it's the only classic that I've read that isn't on my TBR, so I didn't know where to put it. So that's where it is. And then we got some more books. I also put Percy Jackson over here, just because I had nowhere else to put it. Like, I couldn't figure out a space for it. So I would like to have them on display, but that's just kind of where it ended up. And then I have some more trinket things. And then down here is the start of my rainbow shelf and this elephant trinket. And I also moved um, Unfiltered by Lily Collins on the edge because it's a hardcover, so it's kind of helping hold these paperbacks up. And then we have more of the rainbow, an 11 pop figure, then some more fig plants, and this little calico critter guy. <laughs> so that is those shelves, the rainbow shelves. Then I have my Marissa Meyer shelf. I just decided to make this entire shelf dedicated to Marissa Meyer because I keep buying her books. I have multiple copies of some of the same books, so I figured that this just made sense. I also moved Arch Enemies and the Renegades Trilogy over here because I have a couple of books facing forward and it just was more spaced out with those types of books. So yeah, that is what that shelf ended up looking like. And then I have my Cassandra Clare shelf, which nothing changed. I don't know how else to store these books. I still have a little bit of room right there and right there. But for right now, that is just kind of what works. Eventually, I probably will have to expand into another shelf because she keeps writing Shadow Wonder books, and I'm going to keep buying them. But yeah, that is what that shelf looked like. It didn't change at all, so that's that. And then down here, we have some favorites, some series that just needed to stay together. So we have a lot of my Lee Bardugo books, and I have King of Scars facing forward because it's such a beautiful cover. Then we have the Stalking Jack Ripper series, which is one of my favorite series, the A Darker Shade of Magic trilogy, and then we have <laughs> the Raven Cycle, which is not one of my favorites, but like, it's fine. It just kind of fit perfectly there, so that's what I did. And then I have my Steve Harrington pop figure. Also, speaking of pop figures, I did take some of them that were off my shelf and moved them kind of to different spots around my room. And then we have some more sci-fi, dystopian, fantasy books. We have the bells facing forward because this cover is just beautiful. And then we have Barb from Stranger Things. Excuse him. And then we have this shelf, which is my TBR shelf, which I already have books that are coming in the mail. So that might not be able to stay the same, but I figured I could also stack things. Um, but yeah, I have just my TBR books, a BTS little standee thing, Fred Weasley pop figure, my Polaroid camera, and a fake plant. And then over here, I just have my Harry Potter books and then Carry On and Wayward Son because, I mean, they're basically Harry Potter fanfiction, so it felt like the right thing to do to put it there. <laughs> and then I also have my Fred Weasley wand, some more pop figures, and then we have my letter board thing with some more pop figures in front of it. And then I have my record player, which is really dusty, so we're gonna just move on really quickly, but I did move those bigger books down there next to it. And then here's just CDs, and I kept that the same. So yeah, that is what everything ended up looking like, and I am pretty happy with how everything turned out. Okay, so that is my bookshelf reorganization video and also kind of a mini bookshelf tour. I'm still pretty happy with how my shelves ended up coming out. The only shelf that I'm not super happy with is like the top two shelves. I just don't think that they look that great, but I'm not too concerned because you don't really see them in videos anyway. It's normally like the kind of the middle three shelves that you see in the background of my videos when I film over there, so I'm not too concerned. Plus, I know that I'm not going to stop buying books, so eventually I'm going to have books that will fill those shelves and then that shelf will look a lot better. <laughs> Basically, this reorganization made me realize how much more space I have on my shelf for more books, which probably is a bad thing, but it's okay. <laughs> so if you made it this far into the video, first of all, thank you. Second of all, leave a comment down below uh, how you kind of organize your bookshelves. There's a lot of different ways you can do it. I know some people do a complete rainbow shelf. They do by genre, by author. Um, some people don't really have a system or they have a system that kind of is their own made up system. But I would just love to know what you guys do because I probably will change my shelves again eventually and I will always be looking for new ideas. So let me know down below what you do to your bookshelves. But yeah, I think that that is going to complete this video. So please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you have not already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.